This is James Calm, the guy on the bike. And despite increasing resistance, we're going to come bring a report to you from the Anton Kern Gallery on West 20th Street. Today we're going to be looking at an exhibition, a two-person exhibition by Charlie Hammonds called Very Still Life and Don Van Fleet, sometimes known as Captain Beefheart, works from 1985 to 1995. Let's take a peek. So these are paintings by Don Van Fleet, probably better known as Captain Beefheart. He was uh, one of the first people that Frank Zappa discovered when he started his independent label. This piece is called Parapliers, The Window Dipped, 1987. Oil on canvas, 78 by 58 inches. And this is kind of abstract expressionism that you might expect someone that lives out in the far west to work with. This is called Cast Fat Shadow, 1987, 78 by 58 and 3 quarters inches. Looks like Captain Beefheart is using some very, very good linen. This looks like 76D if I'm not mistaken. I wonder if the captain will show up this evening. This piece is called Crepe and Black Lamps, 1986. 58 by 48 inches. This show is in uh, cooperation with Michael Werner where he's got another exhibition of paintings running simultaneously. This is Ming Move, 1985, 84 by 60. And this is White Floating Man, 1986, 84 by 60 inches. I would say that some of the more abstract pieces do put me in mind of uh, Clifford Still. Oh, he's got a very, uh, very direct handling here, a lot of impasto. Thick, sludgy brush strokes. of flickering forms. It's a large piece. It's called China Pig. 102 by 76 inches. 1987. I think also it's kind of apparent why his work has been so popular with the Germans. It's called Ghost Lemon. 39 and a half by 32 inches. 1991. Some of this looks like Johannes Mies' work that he's doing today. This piece is Grey Ape, 
1988. 37 and a half by 32 and a half. Some of the uh, the beige or khaki coming through is just the raw linen. Which kind of adds to the, the brutal materiality of the, the works of the direct paint handling. This is called 16 Chrome 1985. Another large painting. 96 by 72. This piece is called Cross Poke Shadow of a Crow Number One. You might sort of recall the Franz Klein, except these are much twitchier forms, more, more organic, less structural. And finally, we have Whalebone Farmhouse, 84 by 60 inches, 1986. Now let's take a peek in the back room at the Charlie Hammond's Very Still Life exhibition. This piece is called The Man with Mustache, is seated at a cafe table. He is obviously a very regular customer. 2007, 37 by 42 inches. This is also oil on canvas. called Out of Country Downshifter, 37 by 49. I kind of like the little inset kind of faux collage pieces. These really add a great pop to the composition. little swooping, curling brush strokes look almost like he slumped an octopus in paint and threw it on the canvas. It's a smaller piece. Sculpture of a stone thrower or technological retreat 2007. 27 and a half by 24 and three quarters. And we've got rocks and oil on canvas. This little rock up here has got a little face on it. Look at that. This piece is mechanical horse or self-propelled painting. Oil on canvas 24 and a half by 36 inches. And again we see some very tricky paint application. I believe this is frotage. This is James Calm reporting on the Don Van Vliet and Charlie Hammond exhibitions. At Anton Kern Gallery. Thanks, Kate. <laughs>